Well, we get to put the umbrella away today and even some sunshine returning after a soaking, just a deluge yesterday with about three quarters of an inch of rain here in Grand Rapids, even more to the northeast of us. So nice to see that sun occasionally. Let's take a look at it right now. Here's a live view. Jenison, you can see a few breaks in the clouds there as well and the anemometer, anemometer spinning away. And it's going to uh, slow down a bit, I think, this afternoon as the wind gradually subsides. Where are we finding most of the precipitation at this hour? It's South Haven coming off of Lake Michigan. Temperatures still marginally cold enough to bring in some light lake effect. And you see that in Storm Track Live radar. Basically, the heaviest band stretching from about Port Sheldon, the Holland area, right through Hamilton, Fenville. And you can follow that down just west of Allegan and also into Kalamazoo. This is all fairly light and a couple sprinkles and mixed in with a few flurries north and northeast of Grand Rapids. Again, all this is light and it's going to basically uh, fizzle out later on this afternoon as high pressure and drier air start to move in. A lot of clouds out there, but we're starting to see more and more breaks, and that'll be the case again right now through the rest of the day. Temperature wise, well, it's in the upper 30s right now, 39 in Grand Rapids, 40 in Muskegon, 39 in South Haven, but it doesn't feel that warm right now. Feel like readings hovering oh, right around 30 degrees, give or take a couple. So it's a chilly one out there. And the reason why is that wind continues out of the northwest around 15 to 20 miles an hour. Again, this the wind will lighten up quite a bit. Uh, reflected in that, you can see as that high pressure system gets closer to us, the wind subsides, subsides uh, especially into the evening hours. So if you have any evening plans out there, uh, the wind chill will not be quite that bad. Three o'clock this afternoon, still that northwest wind. A few clouds here and there, but again, more and more breaks developing. And as we head in the overnight period, I think we'll likely become mostly clear at times this evening. Uh, clouds, a few high level clouds joining us later on tonight, but we will remain dry. It looks like as we head into the Friday time frame, if we're lucky to see enough sunshine or any sunshine, it'll be in the first half of the day, kind of filtered at times with those mid and high level clouds. But I think we'll finish out Friday with overcast skies. And the reason why is there's a developing storm system in the central plains. That's going to be moving in Friday night, as you can see, right in through Saturday morning. And as it does, showers and even an embedded thunderstorm is possible, especially from Grand Rapids southward. Here's that area of low pressure as it moves right in the southwest or southern lower Michigan by Saturday morning. So it looks like a very wet night uh, on Friday night into early Saturday. Uh, looking at the rain future cast through the six o'clock time frame, it gives us a solid inch of rain. Many areas along I-96 Lakeshore and to the south. So another uh, soaking rain heading our way. Here's the eight day forecast. Looks as if uh, cooler temperatures will build in behind that storm system on Saturday. Cold enough, I think we'll transition to some snow showers. A little questionable how much uh, snow we may get out of that. And a few of those will linger in early Sunday. And then leading up to Thanksgiving, really no big storm system, uh, fairly quiet weather pattern, which, you know, a lot of us travel, so that's certainly good news. And at the bottom of the hour, I'll talk about the first half of November, how that's kind of played out and if that trend will continue for the second half. Turkey's cute. Very cute. Like <laughs> He's super happy still. Yep. He is. Very happy. Not for long. Thanks, Matt. All right. <laughs>